first off, I'm gonna take you to um to hit this point right quick. Um, you know, we have to take a responsibility over our own lives. We have to stop sitting back and waiting for white people and others, the system, you know, other races, other ethnicities that have positioned themselves um, to feed us, you know, to uh, clothe us, to shelter us. Um, we have to take ownership and reintegrate ourselves culturally, you know, with our historic legacy, you know, and regain the knowledge of ourselves. We have to reconnect ourselves with the God um, of the universe, you know, so that we can begin to raise ourselves again in the godly heritage that we used to walk in. You know, it's said a lot of times that we used to be kings and queens, you know, um, and it's good to be able to say that at one point in time back in the motherland, you know, that there was African empires and things of that nature. Um, but that's not good enough for a lot of us. It's definitely not good enough for me. You know, ever since I came into that consciousness, um, you know, that we were not to just be niggers and bitches, you know. Um, you know, I've tried to focus my life on learning our history so that I can be one to stand up in the midst of our people and to try to teach each one, reach one, and teach one. You know, cultural, spiritual principles and standards so that we can reclaim a level of civility you know amongst ourselves um we cannot act amongst each other you know with self-hatred with murder with violence you know showing to the world that we don't love ourselves and then expect someone on the outside of us to treat us better than they see us treating ourselves and i know that there's a reason i know that we've been brainwashed i know that we've been socially engineered through the music you know through the public school not teaching us our history or hiding our history obscuring our history you know through the news programs showing us nothing of merit you know that we're into but always showing us with our ha handcuffs on or shootouts and you know all of this nonsense but there has to be the human will and desire to resist and to come to, to, to regain our former stature. So I said all I had to say, I just wanted to touch on that minority word right quick, family. Um, I hate that word. I hate the minority word just as much or even more than I hate nigga and bitch. You know, um, words have power. The root word of minority is minor, you know, and when you ascribe your, or subscribe to yourself being a minority, you make someone else by default the majority or major. And we gotta stop making white people and others major. You know, we gotta start seeing ourselves as major. You know, we gotta let go of the nigga. Because nigga, there are behaviors that go along with that word. Behaviors that don't push us you know, to hold out.